works in the apartments where I live. Hi, Natasha. How Hi. are you? I'm very well, thank you. Okay, Natasha. Uh, how was your, your was your Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? Yeah. Oh, I had a, a, a very nice Thanksgiving day. Um, I got to spend time with my family. Um, I have two children, and um, we went to visit my mother, and then afterwards we went over to my boyfriend's family's house. Oh, okay. So it was a fun time. Very good. And where are you from, Patricia? I'm originally from here, um, the, the Spring Woodlands area, so just north of Houston. I was born and raised here, and so um, I've lived here pretty much all of my life. Um, except for two years of my life, I did move out of state, and I lived in um, just south of Charlotte, North Carolina. I lived in South Carolina for two years, from 2006 to 2008. Okay. So, um, but I've pretty much been here my whole life. Here? Mm -hmm. Do you like most of here? Um, actually, I really loved it in the Charlotte area, in North Carolina and South Carolina. Because there, it was so beautiful. The skies are really, really blue there. Um, and the weather is a lot, um, I like the we weather there better because um, it gets cooler in the evenings and you actually get to experience the seasons changing. Because in the fall, all of the trees change colors and it's really pretty. And then you actually get a winter. We had snow both years I was there. Um, we lived close to Myrtle Beach, which was about a four hour drive, and the beaches there are a lot prettier than here in the Gulf. Um, well, what we have close is Galveston, which is two hours from here, and those the Galveston beach is dirty, um, in my opinion. Um, and then we were about two hours from the mountains whenever I lived in the Carolinas, so it was really nice there. And you go to ski? I never went skiing, no, no, didn't get to do that. Um, okay, you have uh, one one girl. Oh. I have one daughter. You're you're one correct, girl. and then I have a son. Um, my daughter is fourteen, and then my son Philip is um, six years old. Oh. So my daughter's name is Kylie. Okay. Mm -hmm. And each year uh, you celebrate the Thanksgiving, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we celebrate it every year. And you go yeah. shopping. Uh, I wish. Black Friday. I have I have never really been fortunate enough, except for once in my life, to be able to go to the Friday sale. It seems like I have to work every single Friday after Thanksgiving. Pretty much in the industry that I work in, a lot of times we do have to cover the office on Friday. So I haven't been able to go to those sales. You have to work in on Friday. Mm -hmm. Here. Here I worked on Friday. Uh huh. Yeah, it was very quiet, it was slow, not very many people came in, but um, most people are off on Friday, so. My children had off um, all week from school, um, from, they got out on Friday last week, so they had Saturday, Sunday, and then this entire week, and then they're off, you know, of course, this weekend, today and tomorrow, and they go back to school on Monday. So pretty much they had a whole week off. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to take any vacation time, so I haven't really been able to spend much time with the kids except for on Thanksgiving, which is kind of unfortunate. But um, we had my colleague took vacation time this week, and we both couldn't be gone at the same time. Okay. So, but I'm hoping um, at, in the springtime I'll be able to take vacation to be with the kids um, for spring break. Okay. And then also for Christmas. Yeah, for Christmas. Yeah, this Christmas I'll be able to take time off. And then in spring, I can take a spring break. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, how, long, how long have you been working in here, in the Alexander Apartments? Um, I started here about two years ago. I think it's about two years ago. Um, I My background is the hotel industry. Um, and so I ended up um, in this industry which I love. I love it. It's a lot more fun than working in the hotel industry because you get to meet residents that stay at the property for a long time and you get to make new friends that way. Um, and so I love working with people. But I, I started here um, with Riverstone, our management company, at a different apartment community okay. here in the Woodlands. 
and they were bought out by another company. So when they were bought, um, I wanted to stay on with Riverstone Management Company, and they had a position open here, so I just transferred here okay. with the same company. But that was about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And what, what is your, describe me your work? Um, well, I'm a, as I, um, I'm a leasing agent, so I lease apartment homes to new residents, um, which when someone comes in, you want to try to meet all of their needs. So of course you're going to find out when they want to move and how long of a lease term they want, um, what type of apartment home they're looking for. And you take them on a tour of the property, you show them the property, you go over your pricing and your availability. Um, and if they choose to lease with you, of course you follow up with them. A lot of times people come in and they're not looking to move immediately. They want to move in two months or in three months. So you keep following up with them as you get closer to their time frame. And uh, you can let them know at that time what you have available. available. But um, So you tour the property and then you do a lot of paperwork um, as far as doing the contract. You have to run a credit check, criminal background check, things like that. Okay. And then when residents move in, of course you help them with different things that they may need um, when they come to pay their rent or pick up a package or anything like that. Okay. So it's fun. It's fun. And do you know Mexicans who live here? Mm -hmm. And you work yeah. with, with Mexicans? I do. <laughs> yeah, actually um, our maintenance team, um, they all speak Spanish. I don't know for certain if they're all from Mexico, though. I don't know exactly where. I know um, Juana, our assistant manager, she speaks um, Spanish. She's not from Mexico, though. She's from, um, do you know where Juana's from? I can't remember. I think she's, she's not from Mexico. No, she's not from Mexico. She's from uh, San Salvador? El Sa yeah, El Salvador. San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. but, um, so, but as far as our clientele here at our property, we have a very diverse community, but we do have a large clientele um, who speak Spanish, and a lot of them are from Mexico. Yes. So, and one of the things I love is um, growing up, I did take some Spanish classes in school, and here more recently, I took some Spanish classes at a place here in the Woodlands called Crossing Borders. Um, so I only took the basic classes, and I haven't had a chance to go back to take more because it's expensive. Can't afford it right now. But um, it was a lot of fun. And um, I would love to be able to learn Spanish and be fluent and bilingual. So I can teach you. You can teach me. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. And your opinion about Mexican people is good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think what I love, I think in my opinion, Mexican people seem to me to be more open, they're, the culture, they're more of a, I think more touchy-feely people, like more hugs and they'll kiss your cheek and they're very kind. Um, I, and I feel like, um, you know, I just feel like they're more warm and welcoming and non-judgmental. Non um, so, do you like? I love Mexican people. And so, um, and it's fun, I think for me, because I'm trying, I want to learn Spanish, but I get intimidated or shy or embarrassed to try to speak because I'm, in, I'm worried that it'll come out wrong and I'll be embarrassed. But I feel like Mexican people are very open and they like the fact that you're trying to learn their language. And so they help you understand and how to speak. So, but I love Mexican food, um, authentic Mexican food, because um, here in Texas, there's a lot of Tex-Mex. Um, which isn't you, authentic. Um, do you, have you ever gone to Mexico? Oh, I've only been to Mexico once. I went to Cancun on vacation um, with my husband and my daughter. Um, I had just my daughter at the time. I was pregnant. I was seven months pregnant. Uh -huh. So I was huge and in a bathing suit at the beach. But we had a lot of fun. We spent, you know, um, just over a week there. Um, aside from that, I haven't um, been to Mexico. I've been to South Padre Island, which is so close to Mexico, but we didn't have a chance to go over the border. Okay. Yeah. We didn't have our passports with us either, so. But. And um, what else? Tell me your opinion uh, 
okay, you want to, to speak another language, Spanish, mm -hmm. no? And yes. do you want to learn another language? Um, I think if I can... No, not really. No. no. My, well, my ex-husband is from Denmark. And so, um, which is a tiny little country the size of Florida, the state of Florida, over near Germany. Um, and so, a very small country. So, not very many people in the world speak Danish. Um, but I'm divorced, so we're not married any longer. Um, and he actually moved back to Denmark. But when we were married, he spoke Danish in our household to my son, Philip. Um, so, Philip knows some, some Danish, and I know a little bit. Um, but it's her. I, it's more difficult for me to try to pronounce the words. Like they can't, I can't come make the sounds okay. correctly. But I think it's easier for me. You know your ex-husband, you know, to, to speak English? Yes, oh yeah. He's, he's, he's very, very well educated. He um, actually, I think in Europe they learn, mul they're multilingual. They learn more than just being, you know, two languages, bilingual. They, because he knew, um, um, of course, Danish is his native tongue, and then English, but he also spoke German and um, I think Swedish. I think this is new to Danish. Yes. Uh -huh. So um, I really wanted, like growing up, for my son to learn Danish in our household, but then also maybe learn some other languages. And since we live in Texas, I think it is so important um, to learn Spanish because we're so close to Mexico. Yes. I think it's important to learn multiple multiple languages, but okay. And what do you do in your free time, Natasha? Well, I find myself cleaning house all the time. Seriously, <laughs> Me too. I mean, I feel like I'm so busy with work and then my children. Um, but I, I guess a lot of my free time I spend with the children. We go to the movies. Um, we have a dog. Um, a black lab and he's full of energy so we take him for walks um, and I guess between work and taking care of the kids the kids have a lot of activities outside of school um, school activities